What's up guys, Christopher Walker back again with another useful health video. Today I just wanna talk quickly to you about the idea of a low salt diet. Now this is something that the mainstream media, the mainstream nutritionists, they all talk about these days. Oh, you should eat less salt. This is ridiculous. So first off, just, just so you know, back in the, the 1600s, people averaged eating 100 grams of salt per day. And that's because a lot of people were eating um, like pickled things, they were eating um, you know, salted fish and that, that sort of stuff. Because salt is a good preservation mechanism. Salt has been used by humans for thousands of years in food preparation and food storage, and as well as, as flavoring. It was actually used as a currency at one point, but people used to consume far more salt than they do now. And yet, at this point in history, we have higher rates of disease and hypertension than ever. So, so basically, it doesn't correlate. There's not this correlation because people are saying that, that this salt is what's causing the hypertension, it's what's causing the high blood pressure. Yet they're they're not you know they're not looking to the to the real causes of it, which is just a shitty diet. It's literally just eating shit food. It's eating antibiotics in your food. It's being nutrient deficient in general. And the thing is, most people are salt deficient, and they're they're actively avoiding salt because they think salt is bad for them. But they're deficient in it. And what's going on is your your nervous system communicates with salts. Now there's more than just you know, people think about salt, they think about sodium chloride, basically. But there are a lot of different salts, and your body needs these salts to communicate neuronally, with neurons, essentially. So what, what these salts are, are sodium, potassium, magnesium, and calcium. And a lot of people are deficient in all of them, uh, but the really common ones are sodium, potassium, and magnesium that people are deficient in. And when you're deficient in these, you start to have a lot of problems. You, and, and this is like one of the simplest fixes to figure out if you're deficient or not. Use a, a, a service like Re, Reset Yourself. Uh, if you go to resetyourself.com slash test shock, you can find, that's that's where I send all, all uh, my people to them. They work really well with, with all of my followers and, and they actually love you guys. The founders routine, routinely tell me that, that everyone that I send to them is by they're by far the most interested dedicated best people that they have in their entire company going through their system which is cool so thank you but if you go there you can check out and they, they will measure both all these minerals these salts as well as other things if you find out that you're deficient i guarantee you are statistically you're going to be deficient most people are and you get rid of those deficiencies you're going to solve a lot of these issues in your life you know they, they cause like poor sleep issues um obviously a lot of cramping problems that people have with quick thinking it's all that's all related to that neuronal communication and uh, people are just deficient in salt and they're eating these low salt diets because they think they're healthy when they're t they're really not the the hypertension the high blood pressure is actually caused by the deficiencies and the fact that people are consuming things that are not meant to be in their body and they're consuming that through highly processed foods essentially. And not just highly processed foods, but also foods that are treated with extra hormones, they're treated with antibiotics, and in general the toxic load in their body is so high that their body's response ends up being, you know, one of the symptoms is the hypertension. And that's related to the obesity typically, that's, that's um, you know, running rampant and at, the, at its highest levels ever right now. So I, I implore you to, to question that traditional advice that salt is bad for you. Salt is not bad for you. And uh, it would take eating a massive amount of salt to actually cause an issue um, if you're consuming a really you know, otherwise good diet. It's, that salt is gonna be very good for you. So definitely, definitely question that. Definitely uh, get, get checked and figure out if you are deficient in these salts. Because if you are, you need to get and correct those deficiencies, which can be done in just a matter of a couple weeks. It can be done very inexpensively, and you'll feel much better. You'll have a lot clearer focus, less brain fog. You're going to sleep better, and you're going to you're going to probably work out better in the gym as well. Because um, th that neuronal firing is really what's what's helping you recruit all those muscles uh, when you're lifting. So, hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully it shed some light on an important topic. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in the next video.